Hey guys, this is X Draws, and uh, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on color correction and this blurred edge effect in Sony Vegas. And this is just a sort of an example I made. It's a pretty crap clip, but it's quite nice um, color correction with it. So. Anyway, it's just a bit of twigs at the end, but I'm not going to show you that at the moment. Um, so, first off, in Sony Vegas, you, you with your clip, <coughs> uh, I'm just going to put this on best quickly. Um, first off, the one you want to do is you want to right click your clip, click properties, click disable resample, and it should stop a bit of blur. And also, I, I don't have to do this because I've already rendered this clip out, and I sort of I already did this before but if you just using a clip straight from your capture card you should have black lines here just wanna uh, check these two boxes and just move it in just like a really tiny bit um, but I've already done that and then for, and then just get started with the color correction so first off you wanna go to color curves reset to none drag that on your clip drag this top one here just drag that up to about right to the top but then just drag along a little bit not too much and then grab the bottom one move that down and along a little bit as well that looks quite good then you want to grab a normal color corrector just reset to none and drag that on as well on the low you want to make a just a tiny bit blue not really not a lot high a little bit as well not too much and the mid quite a lot because that makes it look quite nice uh, don't touch any other settings if you want this effect, but you ca you can you can move these, but they they're quite hard to uh, make it look nice with them. So you have to really play around with them to get it to look good, if that makes sense. Uh, and just drag a normal uh, color corrector secondary on as well. Put that blue, just all not too much, just a, just a little bit, just give it quite make it look quite nice. Okay, that. that looks good as well. So that's the color correction done. Now we need to um, make uh, we need to make a, another video track which I've already done and copy and paste this into here. So Control C, Control V. Oh, sorry, should have un un ungrouped the audio. Just delete the audio. Sorry. Um, press U on your keyboard and then delete the audio. Just going to delete the audio track. <coughs> So now we've got two identical clips. Mute this one for now, and then go on Video Effects, and then go on Cookie Cutter. Drag a reset to none to the top one. Sh change the shape to oval. The method cut away all but section, and then drag the size down to let's say about about 0 0.360. So. 360 and then just drag the feather up a little bit and then once you drag then then just make the size higher a bit there we go so yeah 380 once you've put a feather on um then that's that done and then you want to go on to video effects gaussian blur you can use deform sorry not deform defocus uh which looks good as well but i, I use good gaussian blur Add a reset to none to the the bottom video clip, and then just drag the. Uh, well, you might want to unmute it first, and then put this one to 0 0.005, and same for the the vertical range as well. Point zero zero five, and yeah, it just gives it a nice blurred effect there. Um, so if we go back to the start. Well, it's quite laggy, but um, <coughs> change the uh, quality to draft quarter should play. Oh, that looks really bad quality. It, it looks really nice and best. Sorry, best full. That looks really nice. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Xstraws. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll show you the rendered clip at the end. Bye.